we got the Fire Assassin Solaris. Solar class from Order 2. It's Assassin Hero. Standing at 23 life, 16 shield, and 13 defense. So far, Solaris has the highest defense. Really hard to hit him late game. Solaris can wield the ranged weapons, and he also does hand-to-hand -hand combat. He can regenerate 6 shields each turn at the cost of 1 storage energy. When he V-triggers for the cost of 6, he gets 1 shield, 1 defense, and 1 shield regeneration. Let's go ahead and get this guy V-triggered. You know what time it is. <sighs> Look at that pretty V trigger on fire. And as we discussed, when he V triggers, he gets one shield, one defense, and shield regeneration goes up one. So it goes up to 17, 14, and seven. And his V trigger ability, all of your equipped traps deal two solar damage for two turns. Each time you end your turn, and now it's the enemy's turn, they burn for two solar. And if you're against Glacier, it's four solar. And that's for two turns. On top of if they're already burned. So Loris relies on traps. So you want to play as many traps down as you can. Let's take a look at his hero weapon here. The Ardent. It's a ranged weapon. to SMG. Targets for 8. Does 3 shield damage. And 4 kinetic. The first ability is a Solar Strike. Deal 1 solar damage to any burned enemy. You will burn the enemy with the heat signature. Rolling an even number automatically burns the enemy hit or miss. And that even number comes from the red dice. When you roll both of them to target, if that red dice is an even number, two, four, or six, you will burn the enemy, whether you hit them or miss them. And then you will deal the one solar damage to that burned enemy. Fatal Blaze. If the enemy is burned, all shield damage becomes kinetic damage after rolling a 4 or 6. After you hit the heat signature, if they're burned, that 3 shield damage now becomes kinetic damage. So if their shields are gone, you can still hit them with that 3 for a total of 7 kinetic damage. Solaris is a solar class hero. Solar energy attached to your hero take times two glacier energy damage and remove two solar energy damage. Now these solar class cards get attached to your hero before the game starts. Let's review this kinetic ammunition. Attach this card to any equipped weapon to meet the weapon's ammunition value. I think there should be a gun coming up after this, and I'll tell you the ammunition value here. But you attach this to the bottom of your weapon to be able to fire the weapon. And the ammo stays in play for the rest of the game once you put it down. You don't have to discard it or reload or anything like that. Unless someone uses an ability to remove it. The Vacancy. It's a 3 storage energy cost. Targets for 6. It is a handgun and it deals three kinetic damage. It has a V-trigger ability, deal one life damage after rolling a four to six. And that is the headshot. And as you see at the bottom there, it takes one kinetic ammo. Get two of those. The Strider, it's another handgun at three storage energy. This targets for five and hits for two kinetic. It's got one ability, trade off, choose to take two kinetic damage to target again. I have seen this done once and it can work. And you hit for four with a handgun. Hitting for four kinetic with a handgun is actually pretty good, but you do take two kinetic damage yourself. The lockout. The manufacturer of this gun is Talon Tech. They will specialize in certain abilities. It is a three energy cost. It's also a handgun. This one targets for six and hits for two kinetic damage. This ability is Quick Shot. Target the enemy immediately once activated. 
So once you pull this gun out, it's like it's already got a bullet in the chamber ready to go. And you don't even have to hit, put the ammo under it to activate it. So once you throw it down on the board, roll a dice, target them, and try and hit them for that two kinetic before you put your ammo down. Once you put your ammo down, if you have enough storage energy in that same round, you place your ammo under the gun, and then you can target them a second time. Try and hit them for that fourth kinetic damage. The O1 Faithful, also known as Old Faithful. This is the Nebulae manufacturer. The Nebulae is the community. This is a four storage energy cost. It's SMG targets for five and hits for three kinetic damage. The first ability on this gun is the Trust. If you or any allies miss with any equipped weapon, add one to your target value. So you have to target and you have to miss. For each weapon, it adds one to your target value. If you have mods attached to this, you could get pretty high with this SMG to be able to hit for three kinetic damage. The V trigger ability, quick quip. Say that five times fast. If V triggered, this weapon costs zero points to activate. Once you V trigger your hero, place this card down for zero storage energy. The Phalanx, Triconian Rift Manufacturer. It's five storage energy cost. This is an auto rifle, targets for seven, hits for three kinetic damage. The abilities on this weapon, pretty tough. The first one, we have piercing rounds. Ignore any armor resistance. Straight through the armor. Turbine. Destroy one storage energy point from the enemy immediately once activated. Once you put that weapon down, the enemy destroys one of their storage energy points. Immediately. Gone. And Warsmith. This is where this weapon can be modified super quick to deal that damage as soon as possible. As soon as you're V-triggered, activate Warsmith. Attach any two ranged mods to this weapon. Zero cost and start going to town. Get two of these on the board. You take two storage energy from your enemy and if you're V-triggered, you throw down those mods right off the rip and start dealing massive damage. Reinforced Shield. This is a neutral ability card, which is a vitality and will get attached to your hero. For four storage energy cost, attach this card to your hero, remove two shield damage. Now, I do want to point out, the card says energy damage. The devs of the game are rewarding energy damage to shield damage to make it a lot easier across the board to understand. So you will remove two shield damage. So if a gun hits you, so for instance, say that the Ardent hits you, it's hitting you for three shield damage. So this will only hit you for one shield damage and four kinetic. If you have this card attached to your hero. The Orbital Shield, it is also a neutral ability. And this card is a trap card. For three storage energy, you'll place this card face down, and then you will take your trap indicators and place on top of it to let your enemy know that it costs three storage energy. Once this card is propped, you and your allies ignore all damage from any equipped weapon and abilities until the end of your enemy's turn. With the reinforced shield, we just did reinforced shield, attached to your hero, this card remains activated for two turns. Kernetic Grenade. This is also, we got another neutral ability. Any hero can use this to place down and to chuck at your enemy. It is a grenade for three storage energy. You can roll a single dice. If you roll a four, five, or six, 
add one kinetic damage to the enemy. So you'll deal three kinetic damage and one shield damage. Two AoE damage, which is in uh, another play mode that will come later down the road. Having a couple of these in your hand, throwing them down one after another, taking that enemy shield down. So when you hit them with the guns, you don't have to worry about the shield. You can start hitting for the life. Energy Summon. Another neutral ability, and this is a support. So this will support you, but keep in mind, it will also support the enemy. For two storage energy cost, each player draws three cards. Playing this down could get you to draw three cards and closer to what you need to be able to play and vanquish your enemy. But keep in mind, your enemy is also drawing three cards, so they can get what they need as well. But you could also use it to deck your enemy. If you notice he's close to having that eight cards and you play this and he draws three and now he has eight, as soon as it becomes his turn, he cannot draw a card and he will take life damage. So keep that in mind. You can use it to your advantage that way as well. Scouting. This is an ability card. And as you can see, it does not say neutral. It says assassin. This means only assassin heroes can play this card. For three storage energy, play this card down in the ability section and you can look at your enemy's hand and then draw a card. That way you can see what he has in his hand and possibly come up with a strategy on how you think he'll play those cards and what could be coming next. And then draw a card and then discard this one. Lightning Reflexes, an ability card also just for assassin heroes. For four storage energy, this is a vitality that you will place under your hero. Add one defense. So you would add one defense to a V-triggered Soloris, which is sitting at 14 already, putting him to 15 defense, which is pretty massive. The Hidden Blade is also an ability just for assassins. For three storage energy, you will attack your enemy, dealing three shield damage to your enemy, direct damage. Get two of those in the starter deck. Enhanced Targeting, an ability card for assassins only for four storage energy. This will support you by placing face up in the ability section. Add two targeting and one kinetic damage to all of your equipped weapons for two turns. Put the mods on your weapons, get that targeting as high as you can, throw this card down, and you immediately add two more targeting to what you already have, plus one kinetic for two turns. All of your guns, even the hero weapon. Death from above. As you see, ability for assassins only. For three storage energy, this is also an attack that deals direct damage, dealing two kinetic damage to your enemy. Add one life damage if you have a sword equipped. So if you have a sword equipped, play this card, you do two kinetic damage to the enemy and one life damage, bypassing the shield. So if he has shield, you can hit straight for that life for one. Get two of those bad boys. A counterattack. Assassin ability. For four storage energy, it's another trap card. Place face down. Once your hero has been targeted, you deal two life damage. Once they roll that dice down, flip this bad boy over, and you do two life damage straight to them. You do take the damage from them, though. That's the Solora starting deck. Tell me what you guys think. What's your favorite part of the deck? As you can see, Assassins try and target that life damage directly. Out of these cards, tell me which one is your favorite. I think my favorite card is Scouting. I love the color. Favorite color is blue. And 
not only the color and the artwork on this looks very cyberpunkish, but the ability to see your enemy's hand and then be able to react on it to change your strategy up based on what they have and then be able to come out on top is game changing. You're able to have four of these in your deck. You could possibly look at their hand four times or use them as free exile cards to get the storage energy, whatever you want. But I say this is my favorite card. Let me know in the comments what your favorite card is and hit me up in Discord if you guys want to play. We'll get some games in, I'll teach you some strategy, or we'll just have fun and play. Vanquishers, out.